Hi, this is Dr. Don. On one of our assignments, we have to create a series of charts showing point estimates and the confidence interval around those point estimates. Now, creating a chart like that in Excel isn't, isn't difficult. So I want to show you how to do that. Now, this is an example of one way the chart could look. It's not finished. I just roughed it out. I built this uh, on a scatter plot basis. And one of the problems with using a scatter plot as the basis is that it's difficult to get text along the bottom. And I'd really rather have my region names down here. So I'm going to recreate this, but I'm going to use a line chart as the basis in order to get the labels that I want to pop up. I set up a table on this worksheet in which I have the regions, the five regions, the mean score for a factor, and this is speed, and then the margin of error. And I think in another video you've seen how to calculate the margin of error from the descriptive statistics using the data analysis tool or the Excel function confidence.t. Either way you can get this margin of error. So let's start I'm going to highlight those first two columns, the regions and the means. I'm going to insert. Just click on Recommended Charts to get started. All charts. I want to click on Line, and I'm going to say OK. Now there's my basic, basic chart. Of course, it doesn't look like individual data points. It's a line chart. So we have to fix that. We're going to click anywhere on the line to select it. And then I'm going to right click and click on Format Data Series to open up this dialog box. And we want to start by clicking on the Paint Bucket icon. And I like to go to the Marker first of all. Click on Marker Options. And you can see right now we have None. I'm going to click on Built In and just accept the default there, the square that's five uh, units. And that works to get started. You can, you can customize that a bit later. Next, I want to get rid of the line, so I'm going to click on Line and click on No Line, and there goes my line. So we're starting to get what we need. I'm going to close that for a moment, get out of the way, and then by clicking, since I've already clicked in the chart, I've got a little plus there. Click on that, and I can add chart elements. I'm going to go ahead, just for the heck of it, click Access Titles to get started. But what I really need are these error bars. Click on that. Click on the triangle to get more. I want more options. It came up with the histogram icon selected, and that's what we need. Down at the bottom, I'm going to click on Custom, Specify Value, and I get this dialog box. Custom error bars. We've got to give it a positive value. That's from the point estimate up and a negative value from the point estimate down, which of course is our margin of errors. You need to be very careful. Highlight the information that's in there. Click Delete to clean it out. Make sure your insertion bar is still there. And let's click on just the margin of errors and select those. Now let's do the same thing. Clean out what's there. Make sure it's empty. Go to my error bar and select the margins of errors again and click OK. So there we go. We've got the start of our confidence intervals, which what the error bars are showing, and they're pretty small. So what I want to do is to zoom in a little bit on this data. I'm going to click on the axis there. Click on a number to select the axis, and then I'm going to go over here, axis options. I'm going to set the minimum. Let's go to two to start. I'm going to go to 5.5. So that's starting to zoom in a little bit. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit more. Let's go to 2.5. Expand a little bit more so you can start to see that. Uh, the reason I'm not zooming in all the way is I want to reuse this chart and I want to make sure I have room for confidence intervals that are a little bit different from these. But that gives us the basic chart. We need to get our titles there and this is going to be the mean score and my x x-axis 
and my title needs to be point, which is the factor. So that's your basic chart, and I hope this helps you out. You can play around with this and pretty it up, but that's essentially what you need for the assignment.